the nice, the reason why I always did online dating was because I was shy and awkward and like you could think about your response when they're right in front of you and, and like you can't like rewrite your message eight times. Some weird, like sometimes the the problem with on, well, one of the problems with online dating is sometimes you'll talk for too long and then you'll have nothing to talk about like when you actually meet them. Like it's, it, it's not good for like actually getting to like, in a relationship. Getting to know you. Yeah. Getting to love you. You didn't know. You didn't miss out at all. But it's, I think people are, it's, it, I like it. There are benefits to working from home. Like, I feel like I get more done. You do? Yeah. Because it, when you go into the, the, the thing, yeah, the weird thing about the office, but, and it's weird. I get maybe a little bit less done at the office, but you get certain things done more quickly. Because you, instead of sending an email and waiting for someone to get back to you, you can just look over there and say, hey, Jim, what, what am I supposed to do with this? So there are benefits to going to the office. But with everything that's happened, people just don't want to. And I, I get it. I get it, but it's it's not going to be good. The, I, I don't know what, what's going to happen. I like the social aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, I fucking quit high school. Like, there's a 40-year anniversary in October, and they keep bugging me. And I'm like, guys, I'd be a hypocrite. I fucking quit high school, you know? <laughs> like, I fucking, uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. You, you said you said it's been 40 years. You like the social aspect of going into work. I, I like, I, I, I didn't do good in school. I had good right. grades, but I like going to school to talk. To yep. talk to teachers and see my friend. It's like my daughter. I asked her a month ago, you ready to go to school? She's like, fuck yeah. That's her social <laughs> life. It's Studio 54 to them. Yeah. You know, it's Studio 54 to them. So, and look, like my agent, my agent worked from home. My agent in New York, Matt, great guy. And I was talking to him about it. And he made a little garage. He took his garage and made an office. And, you know, it's great. And he fucking works like, you know, 8 to 10. And then he takes a walk for 40 minutes and then he comes back and he does another two hours you have to as long as you have a schedule yeah. and you adhere to that schedule like you only want to sit down two hours after two hours it's the law of diminishing returns get up take a walk I'd rather you take a break that's why they give you a break at a regular job 15 minutes you smoke a cigarette we take a half hour break <laughs> yeah okay? I, but they track you now like they can track if your mouse, like if if you're right, typing. so you have to get a computer thing and put a weight on your mouse. Oh yeah, I, people are doing some. I know a chick that does it. She she fucking puts the mouse, puts like a weight on it or something. You buy an app, and it, it, it yeah, and it makes it move. And she leaves all day. She, <laughs> she fucking leaves and, to get eight hundred messages. Where are you? Oh my internet no, didn't on the work. Phone. I seen it in the daytime. She's a mom. She's one of the moms we hang out with. But I always like the social. Listen, man, the pandemic fucked me up, and I got to be honest with you. There's still people in the house. Oh, yeah. There's still people in the house. I don't know if you guys knew this. This weekend was a big weed expo in Jersey. Yeah, and Cheech was there. Chong. Oh, okay. Chong showed. And the guy, Chong's guy called me last week. Hey, he's going if you want to go. And I'm like, and I go, bro, that was the quickest 360. During the pandemic, I think for a year, Chong didn't leave his bedroom. I remember you telling me about that. People would come over and leave food in his bedroom. Like, his one assistant. He wouldn't even leave the bedroom. He had a desk in there and a bathroom in there, and he didn't leave the bedroom. And then he got better and better. You know, he was scared. He's 70 fucking years old. I don't blame him. So these guys stayed in, and I talk, and the guy called the other day, man, I want to let you know he's coming. And I'm like, that was quick, because he was in the fucking closet. He goes, he just snapped one day. He couldn't take it no more. He just snapped. And that's what happened. You can't. Listen, man, you can't sit in this fucking house all the time. You can't. And I've learned that. The hard, I'm not a house person. I'm not a house mouse no. at all. You know, I like going out. I like talking to people. I like going to the gym. I, you know, jujitsu. I, I went to jujitsu because I was lonely. Right. And I wanted to meet people in the area. Guys my age, you know, whatever. And it's worked. I went up there more for a social than for exercising benefits, and I fell in love with the place. And there's days I have nothing going on, but I'll make sure to go to jujitsu so I get my social. But how, like, just bringing it back to last night, 
Because I think there's probably a difference between like the social you get jujitsu and the social you get doing stand up. Like how? Like how does? Is that part of? You know, you might not need to do it every night anymore, but you, do you need to do it every couple of weeks? Just I need to do it once a week for my health. For my, you know why? Because you go out and you watch other comics. Like right now, I'm not looking to fucking sell out an arena. Right, that ship sailed. I just want to do comedy and be happy and make a little money and see my friends. This is what this is for. You know, I get my friends to come to the shows. Like my nephews came last night. I, I love that they were there. You know, next time my nieces will come. My other nephew's coming from Ruth Chris. He's going to bring some steaks Ooh, next shit. time. I was going to stop and get uh, pastrami from the pickled herring last night. But I'm like, it's our first show. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to stink up that SUV. <laughs> With pastrami and and whatever, but um, no, the difference in my social with comedy and whatever. I mean, I, with jujitsu, I'm a fat fuck. I just, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the third row with my gear all fucking twisted, and I'm breathing heavy, and I'm sweating, and my hair's all fucked up. At when I go do comedy, you know, I don't know. I, it's more for me. I, I don't know. Like, I really liked the people I saw last night in the audience. Like, I really liked those people last night. They right. were they were fucking tremendous. And, like, just even... when Like, one of the first things you said when you got into the car, you looked at your whoop, and you're like, I burned 800 calories. <laughs> and something that I think people might not understand, like, if you're watching, you think Joe... Like, you, they might think, like, you're, like, the crazy, like, wild, like, really, all the time. And you're really, like, most of the time... You're kind of subdued, and like, well, like, but to see you like go off on stage, it just it's fun. Like, it just as your friend, it's fun to see you do that. Like, it was just like, like, like I like when you make yourself laugh on stage, <laughs> is the best. Like, every the audience loves it, but like even because you you like you have a few different laughs, but you have one where it catches you by surprise where you where you said something you've never said before, <laughs> and it catches him by surprise. And the audience, it just, it's, it's fun to see, like, people have fun. Like, it's you know? Fun. It's really fun to see people have fun. And it's really good when you're the Captain Kirk of their fun. Yeah. Like, you yeah. take them to where, you know, it's a great feeling. And it, you, you could do a thousand things. You could get your dicks up and ice cream <laughs> to their mouth. <laughs> Nothing matches being on stage. True. Listen, man. This is a weird thing to say, and I know Lee's going to relate to this, and he's going to go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but even when you're bombing, it's a little fun yeah. sometimes. Because at first it hurts. Like your first three years in comedy, when you bomb and your face gets red, and it hurts. But after a while, you have to look at bombing like, this is necessary. 